been exactly 24 hours that I'm using macOS Big Sur on my Mac and it looks gorgeous and amazing. It is just gorgeous. Anyway, so in this video, we're going to do the hands-on of macOS Big Sur for the first time and I'm going to show you everything new on the macOS 11 or the macOS Big Sur, anything you want to say. So here we are on the home screen and oh god oh god the home screen wallpaper looks very gorgeous in my opinion it looks very colorful and the shades and everything looks so amazing actually it's not a feature but i really like the wallpaper let's talk about the feature so feature number one is the floating dock here you can see here is the floating dock as you can see i really like this kind of dock because this looks like ios kind of but i really like this one especially all the icons look like ios here you can see the icons all of those icons are looking like ios and i really like this kind of square type of logo and number two the control center here you can see the control center this is the control center of the mac os big Sur, and i really really like the control center without having all of those mesh uh, at the top of our bar we can just have all of those things in the control center and it is just gorgeous as you can see i have the wi-fi section if i go back i have the bluetooth i have the airdrop and everything in a place and i don't need to find anything anywhere else and without making the things messy and i also have the display brightness and also the sound setting so that is really interesting and very amazing third feature is the widget so here you can see the widgets let me show you here are the widgets i have customized for myself here is the cupertino weather and here is the screen uses here is the calendar and the time and here is the clock okay feature number four is not actually feature it is the user interface the user interface is now very very different than before as you can see this is the user interface if i go to the desktop as you can see the finder looks a lot different than before but exactly it is same as before just a little user interface difference the messages app here you can see the logo is also a little different the photos app is also a little different as you can see it's a little different like all of those applications got a little polish that i really really like so that is about the cool looking user interface feature number five is safari improvement and i have to tell you that safari is now very very amazing before i was using google chrome or brave but right now i'm using safari right now as you can see let me show you i'm using my own twitter account over here here is my own twitter account and i am using safari man it's for the first time i have never used safari but this time safari gone very very amazing let me show you going into facebook and you can see a little preview of all of those things let me show you if i go to twitter and if i go for this tab as you can see a little tab preview so it is just very helpful uh, when you want to see all of those tabs so where is the tab is if you have a lot of tabs then you can simply hover over a tab and you can see everything and it is very very helpful anyway let's go for the sixth feature that is uh, a message feature that i just don't use iMessage that much uh, and i cannot tell you about those things but uh, right now if you are in a group then you can use at the rate to call any people but right now i'm not in a group so i cannot show you that feature but if you are in a group then you can definitely use that at the rate feature and also the swipe reply that means uh, it's a um, messenger kind of a thing if you use facebook messenger then you definitely know the feature swipe up reply and at the rate mentions okay the seventh one is also not a special feature but the seventh one is smooth transitions right now in the launch pad the app loading the home page everything looks a little fluid as you can see let me show you here if i'm typing something it looks a little like smooth and i cannot make you feel that but i can just tell you and express my feeling like it feels a little smoother than before and i really like this kind of features exactly these seven are not only the features available on macOS big Sur. there are tons more and i exactly don't know what are all of those features by the way these seven features i found on macOS big search and this was my hands-on and it is just very very smooth and uh, just cool and amazing i have also taken some screenshots over here that i have already um, posted on twitter here you can see the storage the overview here is the home 
Bixer home and here is the control center and this hefty nifty settings are very very helpful anyway so this was my hands-on over the mac os bixer if you know a lot more than me about the mac os bixer let me know in the comment section because it will be really amazing for me to read all of your comments about the mac os bixer but the thing is i'm really really loving the mac os bixer it is much much smoother than mac os catalina and that's it this was my hands-on on the macOS Big Sur.